How's it going, everyone? Um, Joseph Molnar. I haven't done one of these videos in a little bit, but I'm doing one now because there has been a lot going on in the news this week, and I just wanted to break some stuff down. There's been a lot of doofuses of the week this week, especially. Um... The biggest one, of course, I would have to say are Jane and Bernie Sanders. Now, if you don't know, Jane and Bernie Sanders are under investigation by the FBI for bank fraud. And now, CBS News is reporting that they have sought lawyers to represent them. So... This case is most likely going to court, and yeah, for somebody who talks a big game about government corruption, looks like Bernie Sanders is pretty corrupt himself, which is quite funny. Um, so yeah, he and his wife, they are two doofuses of the week, but we have some more doofuses of the week. First off, let me just say... Nancy Pelosi is always a doofus of the week, but especially this week because she said the Republican Senate health care bill is what, if it passes, we would be the death party. Ooh, we've heard that stuff before. They, they call us terrorists. They call us, you know, murderers. They, I mean, it's... Well, after you call somebody a terrorist, you really can't get any worse than that. Um, so, but the funny thing is, this is coming from the same lady who says you have to pass the bill to see what's in it. Freaking cuckoo in the first place. So, yeah, the death party, you know, we want to push grandma and grandpa over the cliff. We want, you know, to poison the, the water and the air. We want all the children to get poor education and die. Nancy Pelosi, you're a doofus. And third and final doofus is the whole entire Democratic Party. Why? Because uh, President Trump's ban of certain countries, um, it will be instated for the next 90 days, for the next three months, until the Supreme Court hears the case in court in October, um, and by the way, if you haven't heard, there is a Supreme Court candidate, or not candidate, there is a Supreme Court justice, excuse me, that might be retiring in a couple of weeks, which means President Trump would get a second pick. Two picks, two Supreme Court nominees in half a year, in half of the year, half of his first term, or, excuse me, after the first year in his first term, that would be huge. So, Democratic Party, once again, they get it wrong. They don't know the laws. They, they're they just make stuff up as they go, just so, you know, that they can try to win elections. But Americans aren't falling for it, and now the Supreme Court's going to hear the case. And six countries, obviously it's not all the ones that were banned, but six of them are banned. Now, this does exclude anybody that has a family member in the United States. If they can prove that they have a family member in the United States, they are still allowed to come in. But six countries have been banned um, if you don't have a family member living in the United States. So, good news. So, Jane and Bernie Sanders, two doofuses of the week for their bank fraud investigation. Nancy Pelosi, third doofus of the week for her death party comments, and the fourth and final, the whole entire Democratic Party. So four doofuses of the week, and yeah, it was it was pretty solid week for President Trump and the Republicans um, in terms of the news. So leave it at that. Make sure you like this video. If you agree with me, subscribe to my channel, please. I need this channel to grow as big as possible. Comment down below with who you think is the biggest doofus. Or if you have another nominee for Doofus of the Week, drop it down below and share this video. Thank you.